I analyzed more than 100 job postings on LinkedIn and Nokri.com. Nokri.com is an Indian job portal for those of you who don't know. And I made a list of skills that showed up in these job postings again and again for mechanical engineer and design engineer jobs. So by learning these important skills, you can increase your chances of getting a high paying job. Now, there is one skill which showed up in almost all of these job postings, at least more than 60% of the job postings, I saw this important skill. Now, this is the skill that every mechanical engineer or design engineer should have. I'll let you know in a moment what that skill is. But first, here is a tip that I'd recommend you follow when hunting for a job. Now, let's assume you found a position matching your skill and you simply went there, clicked the apply button. And now you're waiting for the call from HR, right? Well, thousands of other candidates are doing the same. So what will make your profile stand out? Now try this. Apply as usual using the apply button or just by filling the form and then check the name of the person who posted that job. Now go to LinkedIn and look up the profile of that person. Most likely they are an HR of the company and then share your CV as well as some projects that match the exact job requirements. So basically, it should be relevant to the job that they have posted. Now, they may again ask you to apply for that same job on the portal, which you have already done, by the way. But this time, there will be a difference. They now know your name. And if they see your name there in thousands of job postings, it will stand out. Not only that, they now have your name separately in their LinkedIn message. So it's highly likely that you will get the interview call, provided you already have the matching skill set and also you have shared the relevant projects. Now back to the main topic. Unsurprisingly, the field knowledge is obviously one skill that was highlighted in these job postings. So if you are applying for the role of propeller design engineer, then obviously you should know about propellers. You should have first-hand experience about making propellers and all its design aspects. Now that's what the field knowledge is. If you are applying for boiler design role, then you should know about boilers and everything that is required to get the job done. Now, apart from the field knowledge, the most important skill that I saw in all these job postings is GDNT and Mechanical Industry Codes Standards Knowledge like ASME, DNV, API, AISC, ISI or whatever it is in your part of the world. Now, more than half of these job postings I analyzed listed industry standard and GDNT knowledge as a must have skill. So it's important that you acquire these skills. Now, when it comes to learning these skills, it takes time and investment. So you should know if these tools are worth learning in the long term. And I use a free tool that can help you check exactly that. Using this tool, you can check if a skill is a latest fad, which is going to just die out in a few days, or it's going to last for quite some time. Now, using this tool, you can also check if the market of that particular skill is growing or shrinking and you can use that to analyze if a skill is worth learning. Now I'll again share that tool in a moment but first let's check the remaining skills for mechanical engineers and design engineers. So the next one is the communication and interpersonal skill. Well you should be able to work in a team and you need to demonstrate that you are a good communicator and team player to your employers. So no one actually likes a person who doesn't want to work in a team. So mention that in your CV and demonstrate these qualities in the interview. Next one in the list is knowledge of CAD software. Now, obviously, if you are a design engineer, then knowing your CAD software like AutoCAD, SolidWorks, KTI, Inventor, or whatever the industry requires is a must. But even when you don't directly work with designing or drafting work, having a working knowledge of these softwares will be an advantage over your other peers. So once again, you can check which CAD, CAM or CAE software to learn using the tool that I will share in a moment. Now, PLM PDM platform like Innovia was a surprising thing I saw in several job postings. Now, if you don't know this, it's a product lifecycle management tool, hence the name PLM, which helps design team keep track of every aspect of product development phase in a collaborative environment. So knowing Innovia or similar PLM tools will be an added advantage as well. Next on our list is project management. Now, this was mostly visible in leadership roles like project manager and above for obvious reasons. So having certification in project management is certainly a good thing to have. Now comes the less glamorous skill. And that's knowledge of Microsoft Office tools like PowerPoint, Excel, just a little bit of it, Outlook and Word. 
Now, as you will be working with these tools quite a lot, no matter your work role, you should know about the basics of these things. Another skill that you should have as a design engineer or mechanical engineer is knowledge of CFD or FEA tools like ENSYS. Now, this is a simulation tool that helps in generating simulation for fluid dynamics, rigid structure, or even heat transfers. Apart from ENSYS, the traditional parametric software like SOLIDWORKS, KTIA, Inventor, and other softwares have FEA workspace, and learning that will help you as well. Now, where do you learn all these things if you are new? Well, my suggestion is to look for courses or training material in these skills on Google and find the best resource yourself. You can find the biggest collection of these skill sets at one place on LinkedIn Learning and SourceCat course library, which is linked down below in the description area. Now, there are other platforms like Coursera and edX where you'll find specific courses which are quite hard to find elsewhere. Now, it is also important to check if a new skill is worth investing time and money, and I've mentioned it before. So, there is a tool that you can use to check it, and that tool is Google Trends. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to learn Fusion 360, so just go to Google Trend and there type Fusion 360 and change the range, the date range to five years, last five years. Now you can see that its trend is increasing. So this skill, Fusion 360, is worth learning because it has more takers and it is growing. Let's check another one. It's GDNT. And if we look at its five years trend, it's quite stagnant. And even in longer periods, it is still stagnant, which is a good thing. It means the skill is stable in demand and it's going to remain like so for the upcoming future as well. So this one is quite a stable skill that also you should learn. If, however, you see a skill which has a declining trend, then you should stay away from that skill, obviously because of the obvious reason that it is declining. So now you know what the most important and common skills you should be focusing on uh, for your design engineer or mechanical engineer job. Let me know which skill you lack and if you are planning to learn in the comments down below. Subscribe to get notified when we share more such videos. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.